All right, guys, how's it going? Oh my god, I had a late night animating last night. It's nine o'clock in the morning, it's the 4th of October 2019. Let's take a look at the unofficial Blender news. So, Blender developer meeting notes, we briefly covered them last week. New features and changes, motion paths, motion tracking, good stuff, DPI enhancements. Big thing is, retopology, so the voxel remeshing has been coming pretty damn good. Huge effort going into the retopology tools and the sculpting tools to be fair. Uh, symmetry supported. And you've got a few more couple of projects under developments. Remember, all links in the description below. And I must say, thank you to the guys at Blender Nation, CG Cookie, everybody that runs the forums and the Facebook and stuff like that, and obviously the artists. Without you guys, there'd be no content. So, next one up. Blender release cycle. Pretty much moving into 2.81. Uh, Beacon 2 is just about finished. And then the next thing up is Beacon 3, obviously. And I was reading down here in the comments. I honestly think the releases are too far apart. <laughs> Mate, you should try using some other software. If you're ever wanting to play with the features in Blender, just download the daily build. If you're working in a production environment, stick to a stable build. If you want to play around with the new tools, download the latest. Pretty easy, to be fair. Next thing up is the Blender Conference 2019. Now, I'm only about 45 minutes away from Amsterdam, so I might make a trip over, uh, depending on if I can get client work done. So that's between the 24th and the 26th of October. Uh, it's in Amsterdam, obviously. And if you've ever been to Amsterdam, just take it easy. Alright? <laughs> Next one up is... Blender Nation and it's eCycle patches going public. Now eCycles is another render engine. It looks pretty good. I've never played with it so I can't give you an honest opinion. But the more render engines the better. And on that subject, Octane Render 2019 for Blender. Now I'm a big Octane user and the fact that it's for Blender for free, that's a good damn deal. So, you've probably already seen this, Sketchfab are doing a 3D version of Inktober. Now, if you're anything like me, you get 4 or 5 days into it and think, Fucking hell, man. I cannot be bothered. So, I wish you all the best of luck if you're taking part in Inktober. So, let's move on to tutorials. Janum, Blender 2.8, Mirror Modifier Basics. Good tutorial, good YouTube channel, excellent stuff on there as well. Next one up is Ducky 3D, Abstract Shading in Blender 2.8. I had a quick look over the tutorial, looks pretty damn good. And obviously it's Ducky 3D, so the tutorials are always on point. Next one's from CG Cookie, creating a coin explosion effect. Looks good, CG Cookie are always on point. And obviously you've got lazy tutorials, this is... <laughs> Ducks are morons. Quality line. <laughs> <laughs> and you've also got Blender Made Easy, how to create a glowing smoke in EVE. Uh, next one up, obviously Andrew Price has got a new modelling tutorial, uh, so you've moved on from donuts to coffee cups. So let's jump on to add-ons, uh, Blender Nation again. Great resource for your news by the way, honestly. New box cutter release, I'll need to download that. I do have to say, box cutters one of the thing that attracts me to Blender, especially the modelling tools. It's just so easy to go in and go cut, 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 modelled, done. Next one up is Blender Market, info header, useful. Uh, by the looks of it, it adds a kind of toolbar at the top. Now I'm not affiliated by anybody and I don't get sponsored by anybody, so these are just things that I see about on the internet. So, that's $9. Is it worth it? Probably. And this is one of the things that kind of, I seen a tweet earlier on. Maya and Max are pretty much $200, $200 a month. <laughs> so people complaining about $9 for a plugin. Don't. <laughs> Just don't, right? Same again, Blender Market, Gribo FX, that's down to actually $9 as well. Uh, doing Gribo stuff is always good fun. And this is from AFX Lab. I don't believe it's released, but it's looking pretty damn good. Uh, it's a kind of scatter paint tool, but it uses dynamics. You can see here, 
he's essentially dropping topology and it's running physics over the top. If you've ever used Houdini, this is a welcome feature. So the next one up is Cloth FX Dynamic Cloth Tearing Plugin. Now it's reduced down to $30 at the moment and I do highly recommend it. It gives you a lot, a lot more functionality over the cloth effects. So take a look. Again, all the links in the description below. And just to finish up, Snap to Floor. Uh, this is Pixel X Studios, $10. What is Snap to Floor? Snap to Floor is a port of the Cinema 4D plugin. If you've ever used Cinema 4D, you probably recognise this to be fair. Keep your object Snap to Floor when modelling and animating. So it's $10. It's up to yourself whether you buy these plugins or not. And let's just wrap it up. Animation of the week. Now, I really like this. It reminds me of the kind of Houdini thing. And it's. Oh, I'm not even going to pretend to say your name, mate. Forget it. Uh, but it's on the Reddit channel. Really nice effect, using the curve. I might make a tutorial, something like this, because it's quite nice. And Artist of the Week is Angelino Farnendez. And I just really love this render, mate. It's on Facebook Blender Artist page. And it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What's not to like? So that's been your unofficial Blender news for the week. Again, big shout out to all the guys that put in the effort. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe. Peace.